Take my speaker. Hello, hello. Do you hear me nice and clear? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Oh, thank you so much. It's nice to see you one more time. Welcome. How are you? Hello, hello. It's nice to see you again. We have this beautiful day, which is third at uh, Tuesday, right? We have Tuesday. Yes. Tuesday. It's got it's, it's gonna be a long week. As you may know, tenemos clases till Friday. Okay, so I'm sorry for you, but yeah. it's, it's gonna be a really long week. Okay, um, so I hope that uh, you're ready for this. Okay, we're gonna keep working with section number um, number three. It's the one where we're still working, I guess. Yeah. Okay. I hope that we can uh, like have an extra information about the content that is available here in the section. There is one big content which is making wishes. That is a, uh, um, the one that we're going to work today. Again, yesterday we started a little bit, and today we carry on on those uh, things. Okay, so I'm going to take a look on expressing wishes. That's going to be uh, the day's pretty much topic. We will continue working on that. Camilo, thank you. Good night, teacher. Nice night. to be here. Oh, it's nice to hear that. Thank you so much for okay. being here time. Okay, Thanks. Um, I really appreciate your effort. It's nice. It's nice to see you. So you told me last class, well, in one class that you are like like a shoemaker, right? You work yeah. as a shoemaker. Okay. How how is that? Is it is it difficult or like um? What is it's... what is that? Uh, I don't think it's difficult because I have I. I have like more than 30 years of experience. For me, it's easy, you know, but that's mm -hmm. my passion. So that, that's what I like to do. And for me, it's so easy. I can do a, any kind of kind of shoes. Oh, like, shoes, like, uh, shoes. You fix them or you, use, you produce them? I made it. I produced them. Oh, yeah. that's that's good. So you, you produce every kind of, let's say, different kind of shoes. Men's shoes, uh, ladies' shoes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh well. interesting. Oh, yeah. Oh, Wait. So interesting. Yeah. I didn't contact, right? I didn't contact. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know. That sounds very amazing. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh the, eso eh, se llama Orma en español, right? Orma. Uh-huh. How do you say that in English, teacher? I have no idea what I'm saying. I don't know how to say in English. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. Oh my God! Se va, se va a la <laughs> for making <laughs> No, that's that's amazing. I mean, yeah. I respect and Camila. I would tell you this: I respect these people that are created, like mm -hmm. with uh their minds or their hands. I mean, yeah, I really um, appreciate like because because that thing is not easy. I mean, no, no. Like, I got I got I got more than thirty years experience. So for me, it's easy right now. I learned with my father. My father teach me. Wow. What about what about your child, your your grandchildren? Um, I don't know if you are like teaching them right now. That. Uh, I graduate three, 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 three guys already. Oh, oh. that's amazing! Mm -hmm. That's amazing! Wonderful! Yeah. Oh, that's that's some, I mean, like here that that I'm like working with in support. I mean, maybe if you can create a program and then you can teach that, that will be good. I in support. Yeah, exactly. So you can sell them a problem, a program. Yeah, I got a partner that he working in support. You see, that sounds very amazing. Yeah, that mm -hmm. sounds very amazing because that thing is not easy to 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 have. You know, like a a course mm -hmm. about it. That is easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that for me is easy because I know how to do any kind of shoes, ladies, men shoes, boat, anything. So oh, people, you know that, right? You got it. There yeah. you have it. There you have it. Okay. Thank you so much, Camila, for sharing that. Okay. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. That's that's very kind of you. Uh, mm -hmm. let me take the attendance. Okay, when you hear your names, please say I'm here or please in. Okay, let me see. We have number eight. Okay. Um, you're here, right, Camila. Thank you. And Ana Beatriz Martinez de Lopez. 
Ana Beatriz Martínez de López. Hello. No, she is. What about Cesar Aparicio Mendoza? Hello, Cesar. No. Okay. Darwin Blanco. Hello, Darwin. Good evening. No. Hiroki. What about Delmi Amaya Bonilla? Hello, Delmi. No. Present, teacher. Thank you, Delmi. Nice to have you again. Efraín Emilio Acevedo. Hello, Efraín. Now he is in. What about Stephanie Saray Martinez Arevalo? Stephanie? No? Okay. And Franklin. Franklin Magaña Lopez. Franklin Magaña Lopez? No, he is in. Okay. What about Geraldine? Chacon. Geraldine said that she was coming from Chalatenango. Oh, she, 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 she's traveling right now. Okay. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. I hope she can get safe at home. Uh, Hebel Tobar Galeas. Present. Thank you. Nice to have you one more time. Ingrid Flores Ramirez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Ingrid. And welcome. It's nice to have you. Uh, what about uh, Irma Segura? Irma, no she isn't. Jesus Eduardo Escobar Carranza. Jesus Eduardo Escobar, no he isn't. What about Jose Vaquerano Sanchez? Good evening, teacher. Thank Present. you so much and welcome. Nice to have you. Juan David Madrid Melende. Thank you so much, Juan. Welcome. Catherine Rivera Callejas. Catherine, no, she isn't. Kevin Flores Barrera. Kevin? No? Okay, she isn't. What about Lucia Cepeda de Herrera? Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Nice to have you. Melvin Diaz Correa. Melvin Diaz? No, she isn't. Merin Daniela Carranza. Present teacher. Thank you, Daniela. Nice to have you. Welcome. Milagro de la Paz, Jimenez Quintanilla. I'm here, sir. Nice to hear you. One more time. Thank you. Milagro. I'm sorry, I said that. Mirna Janet Landos de Luna. Good evening, teacher. Present. Welcome. Nice to have you. Nelson Ceron. Hello, Nelson. What about Patricia Garcia Funes? Present teacher. Thank you, Patricia. Welcome. Patricia Castellanos de Mateo. Ah, uh, here I am, teacher. Wonderful. <laughs> and welcome. <laughs> sorry, I have a dog barking. Very right? strong. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> Ronald Martinez Flores. Good evening, teacher. I'm here. Thank you. Welcome, Ronald. Nice to have you. Roxana Diaz Rivera. I'm here. Wonderful and welcome. Nice to have you. Sandra Asensio. I am here, teacher. Good evening and welcome. And Sandra Rivas Portillo. Present, teacher. Thank you so much, people. Let me check chat on Zoom really quick. Geraldine. Oh, yes, Geraldine. I'm sorry. Okay. I hope yes. that you can get. Nelson said uh, that. He was only listening to. That's what I'm here. I want to see in here. No. I, I, yeah. He said in the chat. Okay. Let's come in the attendance. So don't worry. Check another one. Emilio. Okay, Emilio. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Emilio. So thank you so much again for being here, right? As you may know, uh, we will like continue working on this thing that is called um, making wishes. So we're gonna have like uh, more examples on this one, okay? Uh, I would like to play the video, the video that we saw last class uh, really quick so we can have the grammar part and then we can have a little bit more practice. Good evening. Good evening, Ana Beatriz. Welcome, nice to have you. Well, uh, uh, Ana Beatriz Martinez de López, right? 
yeah, guys in here. So I would like to play the video really quick so we can uh, review a little bit. This person wishes to continue. Hello, everyone. Now, let me start by presenting the structure. The first mm -hmm. thing that I would like to point out is that we use wish plus a past tense in order to refer to present wishes. For example, mm -hmm. if I have a situation that is true for me, such as I live with my parents and I would like for that to be something different, that is a wish that I have. In order for me to express that idea, I will say I wish I didn't live with my parents or I wish I had my own apartment. Um, if I think that life is difficult, for example, this is my present situation. If I want to express a wish that I have about that particular situation, then I will say I wish life were easier or I wish it weren't so difficult. Let's try to make sense of the examples that are on this chart. In order for us to understand those examples, what I would like to do is I would like to propose this formula here at the bottom. And so what we want to do is we want to take certain situations that exist in our lives and then we want to express wishes about those situations. The example that is stated here is I live with my parents. I would like for that to be something different, right? And so in order for me to express that idea, I'm going to have a subject. So in this case, the subject is I, and then this is going to follow wish plus the subject again. Now, the subject could be you again, or it could be another person, right? I wish I, and then the verb in its past form. So in this case, it happens to be that it's in a negative form. So we use didn't plus live. So I wish I didn't, and then whatever complement, right? didn't live with my parents there we, go. there we go and as you can see, the other example is quite similar I wish I had my own apartment in that second example we can see that it's no longer in its negative form so therefore we're going to use the verb in the past so the example will be I wish I had my own apartment. So this is going to be in the past. So let's try to make sense of that second example there. I can't move out. So what happens there? I can't move out. The only thing that changed was that I'm using a model verb instead of a regular verb. Um, but what you got to remember here is that the model bird can, the past of that is could. And so it's basically the same concept, right? We're going to say, I wish. And then we're going to have a subject again. I wish I. So what is the past of can? Well, we can easily say that it is could, right? There we go. Yeah. And so that's basically what we're going to put here. I wish I could. move out. Now let's try to make sense of the example life is difficult. As you can see the verb that we're using there is the verb to be. And something that I would like for you to learn at this point is that whenever we express wishes we're gonna use where for all of the pronouns. It doesn't matter if we're talking about I, he, she, it, we, you, or they. For all of them we're going to use where. And so that's basically what's um, here at the bottom. After which, where is used with all pronouns. So if we think about the example, life is difficult, and we want to express a wish, then we can say, I wish. And the subject, again, life. Where easier, uh, and of course you can make that in a negative statement. I wish life weren't 
so difficult. But it's basically the same pattern that we're following. In the last example, my parents won't stop worrying about me. Well, what happens here is that I'm using a contraction there. So my parents won't stop worrying about me. In that particular case, I'm going to turn want or will not into would, right? So I wish, and in this case, subject, my parents would stop, and then whatever compliment, right? What kind of wishes do you have about your life? And as I mentioned at the beginning of class, we want to express personal wishes, we want to express family wishes, we want to express health wishes, we want to express professional wishes, if you will. So I'm just going to have a series of wishes here, right? So what kind of wishes do you have about your bedroom? So an easy example, I wish my bedroom were bigger. What kind of wishes do you have about your school or job? Well, I wish my job were easier. What kind of wishes do you have about your appearance, the way that you look? Well, I wish I were thinner. What kind of wishes here, right? Right now, have you take a look? We're working with wish plus past of where in past, okay? Entonces, así es la structure que estamos utilizando, right? Agregamos a little bit of can, a little bit of one, yes, but most of it is with past tense, right? In the context is like we're talking about something that we have in the present that we wish for, right? So uh, here to express a desire, like I wish I had more money, right? I don't have money right now. <laughs> So, so my wish is like, I wish I have more money, right? So if you see the context, right, here we're using the past tense pretty much, right? That, that's the main thing we're using here with this, right? All right, you can find uh, this wish with different kind of, let's say, um, grammar tense, present perfect. Um, we can have, we can have wish with would. Also, um, we can have wish with, I don't know, uh, a past continuous, I guess, or present continuous. So we have different scenarios where we can wish, we can use wish. Right now, we are just focusing on this as an area, which is like things that we are having now, right? And and that is the way we are we are doing, right? In the future, in like in advance, you will have a different context of this wish, right? So you can have more examples how to use wish, wish depending on on the context or play basically on the grammar part we're gonna okay. have some examples here sandra asensio please help me out please read this information thank you i consider myself professionally successful but i live being feeling really exhausted lately i only work for days but unfortunately at night, I wish I work in the morning so I could sleep more beside. I never have time to go on days because I always sleep and feel run down. That's why it was, was, that's why I am still single. I wish there were someone who understood my lifestyle and my job. <laughs> Thank you so much, very good. Just be careful with, with past tense regular verbs, okay? With past tense regular verbs, uh, just be careful, words, words, okay? We have three endings pronunciation with regular verbs. We have the, the, and eat at the end so just just be careful with those okay the rest is very good okay so thank you so much um let me see uh, hmm. what is patricia garcia can you give me like what is this let's say information about 
Patricia Esmeralda Garcia. What what do you understand from this um, information? Um, he is a um, professional. Yes. So he or he part for four days and he or she worked in the morning. That's true. And, and, and he never has time to go. Okay. Wow. Thank you so much. Very good. Do you think that's that's something like like good or not good or or like uh what's 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 what do you think about like his life? Is that something like, like it's like a, uh, he have a very busy life. <laughs> he don't got time for herself. Himself, right? Yeah, himself. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sometimes. Right, we sacrifice things. Um, like <laughs> for another thing, let's say. He's single. He don't got time for love too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is true, right? He's single. Yeah. But never How single. come? Well, yeah. well, man, men are usually single all the time, right? Yeah. It's like, oh, you every every. every <laughs> Thank you so much, <laughs> very good. Okay, let's move on. Emilio Acevedo, please, Emilio. Creo que Emilio estaba de oyente. I'm sorry, let me see. Oh, no. Emilio, can you participate? Yes? Or no? Emilio Acevedo. Emilio, hello? Yeah, can you? No? Okay, let's work with Ingrid Maricela. Ingrid, please. Ingrid Maricela, read this information. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Time have a change horrible. Nowadays, people don't believe in anything at all. I wish they came back for those for those who stopped going to sure or reading the Bible. Teenagers coming, sing, and they don't care. They don't respect their par their parents. They drug and misbehave. I don't know, teacher, Miss Behave um, at all. All time, I wish they could see all damage they are in making go to the society in the world. They must go to hell. Thank you so much. That was very good. Yeah. Okay. Um, Ana Beatriz Martinez, tell me, what's, what's your opinion about this information, please? Uh, Nowadays, uh, the people uh, uh, about their faith is difficult because the uh, the young or the teenagers uh, but the life uh, the time that we we live uh, is uh. It's difficult for them because uh believe uh oh, more acercarse I don't know uh get close uh, close to the uh or uh, or to know uh, more about the 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 car for the time that we, that leave them because uh is uh the the uh, there there are many things that the stuff that the 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 job to close to the church and to uh, uh, to know more about the gods because the the return uh, the internal return no 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 
עכשיו, uh, everything that the, las cosas que vivimos a hoy en día, no sé cómo decirlo, pero... Uh, no, like, 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 that they live, we, we, we live, uh, like right now, the, the music, and the, uh, uh, so many things that the, the, that the, that the stop of the teenagers, uh, to to know more about the the cups, uh, I don't know if you understand. You yeah, that. I got I it. I got it. Yes, that's right. A bunch okay. of things that distract teenagers, right? Nowadays, uh, different. I I get them away. That is true. Very good. If you want to, uh, the jumps to follow, uh, or or hacer lo que vaya and uh, an adult is difficult because if you you have to uh to learn uh to learn them when they are child yeah so when, when when they're leader the teenager right? is more difficult that's right because of their age mm -hmm. as, as you may know uh do you remember when you were a teenager mm -hmm. let me see have one here let me see Oh, you, Milagro de la Paz. Do you remember when you were like a teenager? Did you behave like the way we have this, like this, uh, let's say, reading? Oh my goodness, sir, you always give me the, the difficult part. <laughs> <laughs> but let me try. <laughs> but let me try. <laughs> yes, I remember when I was a teenager and I remember that I, I always used to study a lot and and thinking about classes and trying to get good grades and so you, were, you were like a really nice a girl right a really nice teenager oh my god <laughs> <laughs> but but um related to the the paragraph it's okay that word sir yeah excuse me yes Yes. Okay, but related to the paragraph, I think that people is always looking for something to believe in. Always, uh, not matter if it's teenager or is an adult. But sometimes um, we do it in a in a wrong way. And nowadays, uh, most of the teenagers are are looking that thing in drugs and alcohol and and things that are not good for for the society and and for our health and i think that is is not a, a fact of age because others uh, can get drugs too and uh, I don't know. Uh, I guess that people mustn't go to the hell just to to commit things. We all need a, a chance always, a new opportunity. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. That's true. Yeah, it's like it's part of everything, right? Now what is that thing is part of, like we don't uh we have like uh adults, right? Like older people as well, right? That's okay. Okay, so uh yeah. Very good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing that. Let's carry on with um let me see. Tarai Martinez, please read this one. Thank you. Okay. Uh, before this dangerous virus virus, I used to play video games in my best friend's house. I hate it. Hate it so much because I can't go anywhere. I really wish there weren't any coronavirus all over the world. On the other hand, I have to take classes from home and I get nothing. I wish Google Classroom didn't exist or at least I wish my parents help 
Help me to help me do my homework. They never have time to spend with me. Well, thank you so much. Um, let me see. Sandra Rivas, can you like give me your opinion or your thoughts about this um, reading for sure process? Sandra Rivas, hello, hello, good evening. Hello, Sandra. No. Okay, I will move with, uh, let's say, Hebel Tovar. Can you give me your thoughts about this information, Hebel, please? Yeah, please. Uh, the pandemic uh, can uh, change uh, uh, and live all um, yeah, um, and different uh, forms. Um, um, Thank you. Thank you so much. That's right. Like uh, that thing was heavy. That thing was heavy, right? Delmi, Amaya. Hello, Delmi. Good evening. How are you? You good? Delmi, Amaya. Nice to have you one more time, Delmi. Hello? No? Okay. Mirna, Landos. Hello, Mirna, Landos. Good evening. Hello, Fisher. Thank you. Can you give me your thoughts about this information? Thank you. Um, lo vuelvo a leer o me dice eh, lo que entiendo. Yes, exactly. Your opinion about this conversation. Okay. Uh, before this dangerous virus, I used to play video games in my best friend's um, house. I have eat so much because. I can't go anywhere. I really wish there weren't any coronavirus all over the world. On the other hand, I have to take classes from home. And I get not wish Google Classroom didn't exist or at least. I wish my parents helped my do homework. They never have time to spend with me. Uh, um. Okay, now tell me your opinion about this information. Um, um, eh, no le puedo explicar así muy bien porque no tengo mucha prioridad con eso. That's Pero, okay. Do you, have, do you have children? Yes. Okay. Um, do your children go to school? Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when 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 your children were having like online classes? How was how was that for them and also for you? Um, um the class in in line in life in life. Online classes. Online class mm, from home. Um, they uh, don't go to a school. Yes, that's right. Uh, were, were they were they easy for them or, or difficult for them? Difficult. Difficult. Okay, what about what about for you? What about for you? Um, okay. Um, <laughs> that's okay no problem very good okay great job Janet thank you so much Sarai Martinez back to you one more time um tell me um what's your, what are your thoughts about this uh, information that we have here do you agree or do you disagree uh, I agree mm. I think that when that happened, it was a little uh, difficult for all the world because uh, because due to the, the the job, for example, maybe you have to work from from home, and also there are some people that have to take the bus to the to the jobs, but 
was a little difficult because the people was afraid to that uh, virus. And I think that we all were afraid too. It was a little um, complicated for everyone. That was, that's what, was, that's what was. Nobody wants to die. That is 100% true, right? Yeah. <laughs> we, love, yes, we love food and that's what we work for. That's what we work for. <laughs> we work like just to get food. That's what we do, right? Thank you so much. Juan David, thank you. Help me read in this information. Thank you. It's a matter uh, of fact. I have always a friend about getting married, but I never told I would be like this. My husband worked all, all day um, with a, this paramedic and have to teach me, my children for free. At least I would, uh, I received the teacher's salary. I have to do all the chores myself. And the house is always messy because the kids eat and play everywhere. I wish they say were at the university now, or I wish they were more independent, were too lazy. So I had to be taking care of them at all times. Thank you so much. That was very good. Uh, what's your opinion about this one, Camilo? Please. Camilo, I think your mic is off. Okay. Okay. You want me to read it or to explain it? No, just give me your thoughts about it, please. Okay. I haven't read it all, all of it, but <clears throat> as a matter of fact, I always dream about getting married, but I never thought I would be like this. My husband worked all the all day and with my pandemic I had to teach my children for free. At least I wish received the teacher salary. I had to do all the chores myself, and the house is always messy because the kids eat and play everywhere. I wish they were on the university now, or I wish they were more independent. They're too lazy, so I had to be taking care of them all the time. I think she do anything in the house. She got all that responsibility in the house, take care of the children, take care of everything, and she don't... She don't get help from no from nobody. I think she's tremendous in a stressed position right now. Um, she doesn't, right? She doesn't. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, remember like this part pandemic, the, the pandemic that was pretty much heavy. Yeah, because wow. the pandemic changed all the all the way of life of all the world. Everything changed. You know, yeah, everything. Just to, just to think about that thing makes me sick. You know, just to think about that little thing. <laughs> Maybe yeah. think, oh, I don't want to get back. Okay. Did you notice something rare with this presentation? Or everything was good? Um, I think half and a half. <clears throat> because he discovered oh. you how to, to lead in different way. Oh, thank you, Camila. No, I'm talking about like, is there like something rare like in this slides that I show you? I show you four slides with information. Did you notice something like rare? Those pictures? I'm oh, sorry, in those slices? Mm, can you hear you? I think it's okay. Okay, yeah. Okay. Nothing? Did you didn't notice something like rare, Milagro? Uh, I guess um almost all the slides are Okay. Because I show you, I show you four with the information. Like this one, this one, and expressing this one. wishes. Yes. Okay, but there was something like on there. Right? Okay. Nobody noticed that. Nobody. Maybe what? the pictures. Oh, that's very good. What is your name? Excuse me. Sarai. 
Oh, that was very good, Sarah. The pictures, right? If you notice, the picture, uh, the pictures don't match with the information that we have, right? Uh, so that was very good. Yeah. Great job, Sarah. Uh, okay. Very yeah. good. Thank you so much for that. That was very clever. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's work with this one. Uh, use could the past tense of can and would the past tense of will. Okay. Wish. We wish I can move, right? No, but I wish I could move. My land, uh, landlord won't pay me my apartment, but I wish he would. Okay. <laughs> so we're not, we do a match thing, right? Match the problems with the wishes. Here we have the problems, and here we have the wishes. So we're gonna match them. Okay. Number one is done already for you, so you can get it easily, right? Let's take a look with number two. Mm -hmm. Who wants to do number two? It is letter F. Letter F. Okay, let me let me write it down. Thank you so much. Thank you. What about number three? Who is the number three? Um, Landor, Landor won't tell, won't call B. me back. Uh, letter B. Is letter B. B. Letter B. Okay, perfect. Thank you. I will really write. What about number four? I have noisy neighbors. I have noisy neighbors. Okay. Letter E. Letter E. <laughs> that is correct. Okay. What about number five? I don't like living alone. A. Look at that one. I, I don't like living alone. <laughs> A. <laughs> Letter A. Okay. Okay, somebody's smiling on, 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 okay, on the screen. Okay, what about number six? <laughs> number six is automatic, a letter? D. It's David, right? Okay, so yeah. let, let's have a little bit of practice on this one. Uh, yeah. Patricia Esmeralda Garcia, leame los problems y luego las, uh, los wishes, please. Thank you. All of them. Okay, my house isn't very nice. <clears throat> And it costs a lot of to live here. My landlord. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Excuse ah, me. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah. So you need to read. <laughs> My house isn't very nice. And then let us see. I wish. Ah, okay. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. My house isn't very nice. And I wish it were more attractive. It costs a lot of to live here. And I wish it weren't so expensive. My landlord will, won't call me back. And I wish he had returned my call. I have noisy neighbors. And I wish their music weren't so loud. I don't like living alone. <laughs> and mm -hmm. I wish I could find a good roommate. Finally, the buses don't run very often. And I wish I could afford a car. Thank you so much. So one more time, we're working with could and also with would. One is with future would and the other one is the past tense of can. Right, mm -hmm. that's that's what we're working here. Okay, mm -hmm. so we can use this ones as well. Let me move mm -hmm. to the next exercise. This one is easy, right? Choose the correct response. Just give me a minute because I have the uh, letters over there. So um, I've been okay. Um, yeah. So you need to pick what is the correct option, right? Like for example, I wish I had a bigger apartment. Why? Yeah. That is the option. Then we have Sarai Martinez, number two. Please, please, thank you. Um, I wish I could retry, retire. I don't like it anymore. Or not. <laughs> yeah, I think it's something. Sounds good, yeah. I don't like it anymore. 
I wish I could retire. I don't like it anymore. Mm. I know what you mean. This is a big. I know what you mean. Yeah, I know no. what you mean. Yeah, it's like the other person is like agreeing with you. Yeah. Right? Comment. Like you say, oh, I wish I could retire. I know what you mean, right? It's like you're a word for you, co worker. <laughs> <laughs> and your co-worker okay. says to you, oh, I wish I could retire because I'm sick of this job. <laughs> I know what you mean. Now it's your job. Very good. Thank you. Milagro de la Paz, number three. Thank you so much. Okay. Where do you want to move? Somewhere else. Perfect. Somewhere else. Very good. Somewhere else. Now, I got you the easy one, right? I got you the easy one, right? That's, that's very good. Sandra, I sent you. <laughs> Thank you. Sandra, I sent you. Number four, please. Thank you. I wish I could find a bigger house. It's, it's very nice, though. Perfect. It's very nice, though. Yeah, it's very nice, though. Yeah. Thank you so much, right? I told you this one was a piece of cake, right? So don't, don't worry. We're gonna another one here. Let's see. Let's pick two. Okay, it says imagine, imagine that you are the people in the picture, right? Yes. So look at the pictures. Yes, I wish sentences for each person. Okay. So we have three pictures, right? Picture number one, picture two, and picture three. Example, first picture. I wish I didn't have so much homework. I wish I could play with my friends. So what are you going to do? You are going to write examples based on the picture. So you look at the picture and you write, you see in the words, right? Write the example that goes related, related to yes, the picture. Right now? Yes, do it right now in your notebook, please. Okay. We have uh, four minutes, no, five minutes, so you can do it, and then I will hear some responses from you. Okay, so I need you to, like, take a look of the picture, like, your sentences. I wish I didn't have so much homework. <clears throat> yes. So examples like that, right, you need to do. Uh, if you want, you can work with the next picture, which is picture number two and picture number three. Okay, uh, because we have like two already from picture number one. Maybe you can write two more examples with picture number two, which is this one, and two examples with picture number two, which is this one. Yep, okay. So I will give you five minutes to do so in your notebook, and then I will hear some examples from you. Because of, this, <laughs> because of the time, I won't be able to hear all of you, okay? And I, will have you, I won't be able to give you the chance to get into the breaker rooms. Okay.
Okay, thank you so much. Um, Sandra Elizabeth, please. Let me hear your examples, please. Thank you. For the second, I wish have more free time. Maybe have a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, work. That is correct. Very good. Thank you. Do you have another example? I wish I could buy a car. That is in picture number one or picture number three? I'm sorry, number, number two or number three? Number three. Okay. Thank you so much. Very good. Thank you. That's very nice. Uh, what about, let me see. Um, Ingrid, Maricela Flores. Thank you. Okay. Number one, number two. Uh, picture number two, this one. Okay. I finish, I wish I finished a time my work. Okay, I wish I finish that on, time? Time. on time. On, on time, okay. Very good. Uh, do you have another example, Ingrid? Just that one? Uh, uh, the picture number two and or picture oh. number three. Number three, please. Thank you. Uh, I wish I had a car. Exactly. So you got the thing right. <laughs> oh, you didn't. You didn't say that. Like, uh, Sandra, you didn't send your your sentence to your class. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just. It's a terrible job. Okay, terrible job. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Milagro. Okay, Milagro. Um. Sure. Yes. Okay. Well, let's see. Please go ahead. Thank you. Okay. I wish uh, I have a more relaxed job. And okay. I wish I have a cut. Yeah. No? Very good. Yeah. Every, everything is good. What I'm hearing is like just just one one thing, right? What I'm hearing is like most of your examples were well, three classmates, three students. The examples, all of you begin like, I wish I had. Yes? I mean, all of them are good. Yes, I good. Because you're using the verb, this one, right? Had. Yes? Yeah. Uh, that verb, in past. It, in past. I mean, yeah, it is correct. The sentences, all of them are correct. And, and that's very good. However, however, my recommendation, this is my recommendation, right? Humble recommendation. Like if you know one verb, like like you know already, uh, try to use another one. Let me say, right? Try try to go for the challenge. You know what I mean? At this level that you have, had is very easy for you. Yeah, the verb had I think is very easy for you. But what about the other verbs? The other verbs that we can use in these pictures? Those are the challenge. You know what I mean? Yeah, so so my recommendation is, is just like uh you can go for the other verbs that we can figure but out. Can I, but I can I say I wish I could help uh for last show? No? Oh yeah, that's good as well. That's good as well as well. Yeah. But but if, if you notice here, if you notice here, I wish I didn't have okay. so that's one example, but then you use play, right? Right? Change the verb. Exactly. Try to use uh, different verbs so you can like, this is like a challenge, you know what I mean? As I told you before, it's like a challenge. But when yes. you know one verb or you you know one thing, one structure, so the next one is like, oh, I need to like redo this thing and use another verb, use another option so I can um, you know, say have another option to answer this right? or, or to communicate. Yes. Um, very good. Thank you so much. And that's sorry. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, we're gonna have this one. What is Camilo? Okay, Camilo. Thank you so much. Read the instructions and then Camilo, you go with this information. Ready? Please go ahead. Hello, Lily. Yes, 
we finally moved to our new apartment last week. We like to, we like the new place. It's new and it's in, it's in a nice area on the, of the city. More importantly, it's not as expensive as the old place. The rent is much lower. Of course, it's much smaller than the old place. It doesn't have many windows and there isn't enough close space, but we're going to buy a new dresses. So that's okay. I just wish we have a bigger living room and more space for furnitures. So we didn't have to sell our sofa. We are going to come and see our new place, Susan. Thank you. We're gonna complete the chart. We have advantages, disadvantages, and we have wishes, right? Let's work with advantages. What are we have? One is new. What is the other advantage that we have here? It's now yeah, the rent is lower. Okay, <laughs> rent is um, it's, 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 it's low, right? Rent is low. Very good. It's low. Mm -hmm. What it's a nice area. Nice area, nice area, right? Nice area, yes. very good. What about the disadvantages? It's a smaller. Okay, a small place, very good. Small place. Okay. It doesn't have many windows. <laughs> a place with no windows doesn't have uh, many windows, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, doesn't have any windows. Very good. What is another um disadvantage? There isn't enough you know, close space. It's just space. The space is just you know, close space. It's enough room for more space. You know, oh, closet the space. Very good. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's then uh, very good enough. Uh, classes, right? The classes, so you can get your clothes, right? Mm -hmm. That's right, right? Yeah. What mm -hmm. about the wishes? What are the wishes that we have from this? I'm not a uh, bigger bigger living room. Okay. Had, I'm sorry. Had a living room. Had a, a bigger, right? A, a big bigger living room. Bigger, bigger. And more space for furniture, so. What is another thing? More space for, more space 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 for the furniture. Furniture. Ah, and more space. Okay, more space. Okay, had more space. Okay. More space. Okay. And we didn't have it to settle our uh, no. their their sofa. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Didn't. Okay. Didn't. Uh, have to say. <laughs> but the there, okay. it's a uh, advantage. There, there's so far. Oh, okay. But it uh, does it's an advantage or not? Uh, which one? Uh. He didn't, uh, they didn't have to sell their sofa. So we didn't, oh, okay. It's, it's not a, an advantage? Mm, what happened no. is like, it's a wish, right? If you see here. No. Oh my gosh, no puedo subrayar con esta cosa. Okay, so it's a wish. Desde acá, right? Viene hasta acá, right? So it's a wish. From here. Ah, okay. Here, okay. Here. So like everything is the combination for wish. Okay, mm -hmm. very good, right? Um, thank you so much. We finished section number four, as far as I know. No, section number three, right? Section number three, we finished section number three, and we will start uh, tomorrow with section number four. Okay, so thank you so much for your participation. Um, for doing this, Milagro, that was very good, Milagro, your sentences. Just don't forget to use different verbs, Milagro, right? So you can challenge yourself uh, with other verbs. Good night, people. Rest, and we will see you tomorrow. It's Anna, teacher. Have a good night, teacher. teacher. Thank it you. It was everybody. Anna. Oh, that was uh, Milagro de la Paz. No.
It was Anna. Oh, that was Anna. Okay, thank you. Yes. <laughs> it was me. It was me, <laughs> Milagro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Bye -bye. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you. You do the same. Have a great night. Bye.